Hey guys, this is Mo from Moppet Hiker, and today I show you how to use iOverlander points of interest in the Android and iOS application Maps.me. So, first step is to go to iOverlander.com and then hover on Find Places in the top left corner and click on Browse by Country. Then you see a list of all the countries where iOverlander is available. Um, choose the country where you want to get the points from. Um, for the example I choose Ecuador because we are right now in Ecuador. Just left click on GPX and then it will download the file from iOverlander. Afterwards, you go to the page www.mopetaika.de slash en slash iOverlander. I'll put the link in the description. And here you can choose the file. You just download it and upload it. And then you can select which categories you want to import. Um, you can select all or select none. So for example, I just want campgrounds and hostels. So I just select these points. And then you click on convert. Now the script converts the uploaded file to the maps.me format and after converting it downloads the converted file to your computer and now there are several methods to get this file on your maps.me application to your smartphone or tablet to keep it simple I just take the downloaded file and send it to myself by mail I just create a new mail and send the converted fa file um, as attachment to my own mail address. I overlander convert just a blank mail and send it. So now I switch to my phone. Here I just open my mail app. And here's the mail I sent to myself. I just open the attachment and it will automatically download the file and open it into the Maps.me application. And as you can see, now I have all these little bookmarks in Maps.me. The green icons are the camp spots and the blue icons are hotels and hostels. And if I open one, I get the description, see if it's open, if there's electricity and all the information you get in iOverlander. This works totally offline. But you cannot see any comments or submit any points. Therefore, you need the original iOverlander application. And if you don't want to have these bookmarks in your Maps.me, you go to the button here in the right corner. There you can deactivate it. And then they are gone. And you can activate them again. So, I hope this helps you to... This method is not for substituting the original iOverlander application. It's just for the case that you don't have a map overlay in the original iOverlander application. Please use the original application as well. Submit your good spots, give your comments, and if you see a gas station, this is not a wild camping spot. Uh, 
so please don't submit guest sessions as wild camping spots. Thank you. Bye.